today though, or maybe We are back in Parker this time for the big trucks guys look at the expo look at how downtown Parker welcomes in best in the desert this is amazing town of Parker coming alive ready for some horsepower All right, guys, Parker 425, day one. It's windy. Let's catch you up on some of our finishers. All right. Still waiting. Run you down, and they had some problems with their cars, so uh, you can't have a plan with this truck. We'll see what he can do tomorrow. Now that he's got to. Here with our class 10 winners. First winners of Friday. Congratulations, guys. Preston Brigman, Brent Fox. Take me through, I'm sure, what was a challenging course out there. It was a good course today. Uh, Brent Fox started for us and ran the first lap, and I co dogged, and then I jumped in the driver's seat and did the last two with Brian. and. That was a great day. What was the most challenging part for you guys? I didn't know you were so um, Just trying to stay dust free and stay out front. That was the hardest part. Probably trying to run a clean race and uh, Connor was right behind us and he's uh, he's extremely fast. So we had to kind of keep uh, keep from, you know, screwing up too bad and keep in front of him so we had clean air. So uh, we were successful this time and a uh, great race. You guys are pulling double duty here this weekend? Tell me about that. It's a busy one for you. Yeah, we uh, we got a 6100 and we qualified first in it, so we'll be uh, we'll be starting in front of all the 61s tomorrow. And so we got our work cut out for us there too. It's uh, between the 10 class and the 61s. I think them are probably the two most competitive classes out here. So uh, we'll uh, we'll get after it and see if we can do uh, see what we can do. Great job, gentlemen. We wish you all the best of luck tomorrow as they look to double up. Thank you. Be in your car, but the races that I sure you want to get him back in there with you. Yeah, we're definitely. Well, gonna... we told you it's not just males. There's some tough females out here in Best in the Desert Racing. And Connor and James, I think we need to salute your co driver here, Jenica, bringing you home to a second overall class 10. I'm going to start with you. Tell me what it was like out there with these guys. So, super awesome track. It was a little rough. Um, we lost our serpentine belt in the first lap down in the wash. So I had to get out and change the belt. Um, thank goodness it went nice and smooth. We really get back on the track and keep going. Excellent. James, now got to be a dream ride for you to be oh, teamed yeah. up with young Connor. Tell me oh, about yeah, that. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's a struggle, you know, to run this pace for three laps. So, you know, it's nice to bring somebody in that uh, can run the pace. I mean, he was, he was class 10 champion two years in a row. So, you know, if you're going to bring somebody in, bring somebody in that knows how to take care of the car and get it to the finish and hand it off. And, yeah, it was, it was a good day. Uh, we usually have that lucky partner, so it was kind of nice to turn it around. We didn't have any flats. We never got out of the car. Just ran great other than the serpentine belt on the first lap. So. Great job. You guys overcame a lot of adversity. And Connor, for you, what a warm-up for 6100 tomorrow. Tell me about how the day went for you. Um, no, the day went good. Um, you know, like I said, we just ran a good pace um, off the first lap, trying to get the car around to James so that he can get into the last two to finish the car. Um, but overall, the, the car ran good. The course was great. Um, a good pre-run for tomorrow's race. Um, so um, get that under our belts and then get on to tomorrow. And we'll have three full laps in the 6100 truck tomorrow for Brent Bell Industries. And uh, like I said, hopefully we'll be up on the top box tomorrow for the 6100 class. Well, guys, join me down below in the comments and congratulating them. A great effort by all three. What a run. Hey, the wind's picking up big time, but that's not going to bother Keith Wable. Third overall class 10. Keith, tell me about it. Man, it was a crazy race. We, uh, you know, first lap we struggled bad because the, uh, there wasn't really a good race line. So we were kind of down in the silty stuff, swapping around, took out a bunch of trees and stuff. And lap one, I came in and had them dump some pressure out of the rear tires because I just didn't feel right. Went out for lap two, felt way better. Um, still had some gotchas getting around people. And then lap three, we just, I turned it on as fast as I could go. And then uh, it looks like it's going to be a third. So that will be really good for us. Big congrats, guys. I'm sure getting on the podium makes it all worth it. Huh? Thanks, a great job. 
congratulations to Travis Fletcher, Thank number you. one, Jeep Speed. And look at the young co-driver, 12 years old, you're telling me? That's it. That is awesome. Please introduce him to us. That's Jacob Beal, 12 years old. This is his fourth race. Well, Jacob, you did one heck of a job. What do you think? You guys are ready. We're uh, ready it was actually. fun. It was a long day. Uh, a little rough. <laughs> a, a little rough. rough. <laughs> well, you obviously did a wonderful job. Yeah. Take me through this race from your perspective. Uh, first lap was actually flawless. Uh, Scott Beal started, on, my partner, uh, team owner. Um, he's the owner of the truck. Um, he started last and just worked his way through the field. Uh, we were the first one in through main pit. And then we put fuel in, put him in. And then um, I just set a pre-run pace and here we are. No issues. How brutal is this in one of these vehicles as opposed to these trick it, trucks with 30 gets, inches of it travel? It gets hairy with 10 inches of wheel travel. Um, you have to pick and choose your lines. Learn, you learn so to read the, the big rollers and go, just pretty much drive through what you can and then just go fast when you can. Would you like to be in a bigger vehicle someday? Is that the goal? Oh, I've been in one. You've been in one. Okay, so maybe a return or is it? Yeah, it's, it's, I have fun in this. It's actually a fun race. I mean, I'm sure it's a blast. It's fun. I mean, these little trucks here, I think what we get 96 miles an hour today. Oh my gosh. So yeah, leaving uh, Midway coming into Ballast, I think it was like 92, 96, somewhere around there. Perfect. And we're bringing so, along the next generation too. How about you? We're going to see you in a trophy truck someday? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I love it. Well, good job, guys. Congratulations. Travis Fletcher, great job out there in Jeep Speed. Um, FNL Racing Fuel. Uh, yeah. So this is from Wednesday. the second. Oh, my God. No wonder Brian's shocked. What is that, Jeff? Tell Brian, him. Hey. So, hey. He wiped it out. Cody did. Okay, right. Cody did. Okay, Cody. <laughs> so, hey. So, the whole story behind this. We start, the, we start the time trials. First class, first class is the, uh, is the thousands. The second driver, I hear, he hit, the, he hit the timing loop. I go, what do you mean he hit the timing loop? It's a straight road. <laughs> I get out there and the timing loop is bent like a foot and it's like inch and a half freaking steel. I mean, there's no way this thing should bend. This sign was in front. He actually zeroed in on the finish line. He knew he was there, so congratulations. You were uh, first to the, uh, uh, tear out the, tear out the finish line. So you, here's your trophy for your wall in your garage. I love it. Congratulations. How about that, huh? You get poor Hey, where are you from? Arthur, hometown. Hometown here, all right here. Give it up for the man. We don't, yeah, it's so quiet. I know. Jack and I have been talking. Jack's filming right now, but that, uh, Last time I got caught, Let's see if they did a good job. Look at that. Okay. All right, two laps for the 1200 yeah. category, and first across the line is Sean Berryman. Sean, you don't have the big suspension that these big trucks have. Tell me what it was like for you. Yeah, so um, you know we're, we're in a basically a stock truck. Um, we have some uh, upgraded uh, shocks and stuff that we're testing for uh, shift performance, but it's basically a, a truck you're driving down the road, so. Um, you know, except for all the safety equipment. So, you know, it's, it's there's winner, some parts right where it's here. rough and you gotta go slow, but you know, we still, you know, when right, we can go fast, we can go off. fast. You know, we're going 90 miles an hour or some uh, portion of the race course the today. So, that was a good day. Great start to the season for you guys. Will we see you at more races this year? Yeah, yeah we're, uh, you know, we're factory Chevy uh, performance back. So, uh, we're gonna be doing all the races this year. Um, Chad Hall's the owner, he's gonna be coming in here in a couple minutes. Uh, he's driving the Colorado version. Um, but, uh, for Chevy performance this year. So, right. yeah, we'll be at all the races. You are Great job. Congratulations. A strong start of the season for them. But uh, that's how we started this track. So, it was just awesome to come out here, best of the desert race with everybody. And uh, I just, uh, I think the course is fun. I like going backwards. All right, day number one. First <laughs> overall Class 8000. You got to tell me about it, Steve. You, you know what? It was a blast. We, we took off, and uh, I didn't think it was, uh, you know, the wind. I thought it was going to come a little sooner. It came later in the day, but uh, uh, I could have passed a few more people, but I was being a little conservative through the rock section, and uh, that haunted me because I got held back about for 40, 50 miles. But we jumped out and uh, led the first, uh, uh, led the whole race, basically. But uh, we had some problems in the pits, and I was a little worried that we may not be able to hold it. So, But this old uh, Zorro uh, uh, truck just did uh, fantastic, and uh, I did the first lap and a half and he did a second lap and a half uh, Mark Newhannon we had a blast Mark take me through it from your perspective what was it like out there 
Yeah, uh, so the course is really smooth. Well. Uh, you know, in recent years, struggle, it's, it's gotten rougher, but we're doing this, right? I think it's just track uh, so maintenance. And it was, it was fun driving it the backwards, and, you know, and, uh, backwards way. The, the turns are different, they're wider coming in and sharper and going out because yeah. normally we're in and we drift you, out of the turns. Yeah, and, great, you know, so it was, it was good, it was fun. We had a little bit of take it on fuel, so we probably didn't, we didn't get a full load, so we, on the last lap, we were just half throttle the whole day. Good job, guys. I think it's kind of cool that, like, uh, we we off the oil, but Steve, other than that, because now he owns both dealerships, and they're next door to really each other, good. so it's kind of uh, cool. And on the road, you know, the guy don't like the Fords, they'll sell the Chevy and, next door. So you know, it just the thing handles, right. handles really good, and I'm looking forward to tomorrow. So we'll go. Let's see Absolutely, great right. job, guys! Yeah, A great I start for this team right here. Your name? Kathy Simonson. Okay, first time to do this or what? Not my first time racing, but it is my first time I'm back in this sexy beast since my husband rolled me at Silver State. Well, this upside down was not fun, but... So you took a wheel away from him said no more? Uh, no, I uh, just took me a little bit to get back in here. Well, good job. You're back here in uh, first in class. Here we go, Saturday, day two. We got the Black Rifle coffee crew going nuts, pointing to their helicopter. They think they won this thing. We'll check it out. BJ Baldwin, very, very tough to beat. Let's see if he got the overall. Here's the deal. I, th I think BJ, BJ was thinking about jumping. If, uh, if uh, he was... Have you ever, did, how did you meet him? What a performance, a big win. BJ Baldwin, congratulations, man. You did it. Black Rifle Coffee Company out in front. Take me through what must have been a wild Parker 425. Uh, well, we did a, a bunch of uh, upgrades to Rampage. Uh, we've been trying to carve out some time to uh, do a powertrain package from Ray Dugan's. Uh, Ray builds really awesome race motors, um, and I've I've been underpowered for about two years because I've been trying to carve out time <clears throat> and trying to find a motor package that's been working very very well for other teams. So for the last two years, I've been running a small block that makes it's it's a, a earlier generation uh, motor race motor makes 880 horsepower, and everybody else I've been racing against guys that have 1100, 1200. So 1,300 horsepower for two years. Um, finally got this uh, this powertrain package together with uh, with Ray and James Land and Chris Allen, and Kyle and Paul and everybody, and we carved out some time to put it in. So we have uh, all new uh, engine management systems, uh, all new engine uh, wiring harness. And instead of 880 horsepower, uh, like I've been competing against guys with more horsepower this year, uh, I'm making almost 1100. There's still wow. a few trucks out there that wow. make a little bit more power, but uh, Ray builds, uh, he built the biggest motor that would fit my truck. <laughs> and he does a great job with our race engines and Rancho Driveline, Rancho Transmissions. Um, Chris Allen, he did a fantastic job. He's been doing a fantastic job put the truck together you know I, I got on the podium and uh you know i, I win today or, or i'm doing so well you know the, the last year being with chris allen um and everybody's like oh you know you're really coming around like no i have not changed i am the same person chris is just uh in my team they just give me a weapon that i can lean on it and uh that's it i've been the same person for forever i didn't even drive that hard today to be honest with you i did not and I lost, but we had a 15 minute lead and I lost uh, brakes. Uh, a rock came up and smashed a brake line. Um, so I had to drive it on the fast roads with no brakes at all. Oh my gosh. And then I had to go to uh, make it into the pits. I was just, for, to slow down, I was just getting the truck yeah. sideways to get it to shave speed off. <laughs> I was still able to drive it at 120 miles an hour, but my braking distance greatly increased. They're about a mile long. Um, and we had to deal with that for about, for about 20 20 minutes um, and we ended up capping the brake line got it back on the road and I drove it with only front brakes um, which was very problematic the truck does not steer at all when the front brakes are locked up so I had to pick and choose where I could go fast where I can lean on it and understand that my braking distance uh, is very very great with only half the truck trying to stop the whole truck so but uh, 
you know, like I said, I've, I've been here. This is my team. This is not me at all. Not at all. You know, if I don't have a weapon, I can, you know, slay other competitors with it. I'm nothing. So I got to thank my team and everybody that preps the truck, all my pit guys, everyone. Um, I can't thank you guys enough. And if we keep doing this. You put that extra horsepower to good use. Congratulations. Thanks, Big win here today. Thank you. Well deserved. BJ Baldwin coming with a first overall. Nick, second across the line. I think you got some excited young men here cheering you on. Tell me about what was a pretty exciting Parker 425 for you. Man, just the whole experience, I guess. It's uh, uh, it's my first go at it, so um, you know, I've been wanting to do this my whole life, and I've got the opportunity to get a truck now, and uh, you know, just, just into it. I mean, the track was, was hardcore, and um, you know, just had an awesome time. They got anything like this over in Australia? They got racing over in Australia. Yeah, I grew up watching my uncle race, and and that's kind of what spurred it. Yeah. Well, you did a great job. Congratulations. Second across the line today. Hey, how about Chip, too? Unofficially, third overall, third across the line, first in class in the 1500 category. He had a great job. He drove, and uh, uh, definitely a lot of fun. And Hey, guys, check it out behind me. Yes, it's a buggy. Yes, it came in third overall, first in class. Chip Prescott, perhaps the biggest win of your career. Tell me about it. Oh, absolutely the biggest. With Richard here, man. We had a great time out there. Just did what we do. Go out and have a good time with our friends. To overall third is just amazing. Never thought that would ever happen in my life. Here we go. That's amazing. What do you think the key to your success was? I heard you say how rough it was, but I mean, you guys were yeah, flying. You beat so many trophy trucks in. You can get through it quicker and go faster. So here's that's our true. Pro. So we just can drive faster. I love it, guys. Well, yeah, excellent yeah. job. What's this mean moving be forward this year? Are we going to see you run all season? We're going to have to talk about things. it. Twisted things. Yeah, we'll have to talk yeah. about it. Yeah. That's right. A lot to talk about now. A lot to talk about. And you guys are the point leaders. So congratulations, guys. Wish them well down below in the comments. What a performance here in Parker. All right, guys. Uh, power steering got a little stiff. Second a great run out there for yeah, Alex right. Wacker. Fourth across the line overall. Third in class over overall. We believe we're not sure. We're still waiting. We're doing some math. I mean, you guys were flying out there, though. Take me through it. Uh, chorus was different this year. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we went backwards. Didn't really have any big issues. Toyota tires held together. Never had a flat. Never had an issue. So... Big props out to them. Thank you guys. Uh, method, no bending rims, nothing. Just, just smooth sailing, easy going. The camper guys helped me pit along with some of my other friends from uh, uh, Harmonson Racing. And they just did an awesome job today and got me back on track and just keeping it together. And my co-driver, Josh England, just well, helped me together and kept pushing me. I didn't know where I was actually. Yeah, you just said go faster. So I was like, all right, cool. Go a little bit faster. Well, great start to the season. Yeah. A so great we, uh, performance for Team Wacker. Today, unofficially, the winner in the 6100 class. Winner? And, uh, I don't and think he comes through without a hood. On time, I think. Did, did, he, did we redo that? He's got me by at least probably three minutes. Today, though. Oh, maybe? Yeah. You think so? Okay. Brad Fox, great run. First 6100 across the line. We think second in class. And the first thing that catches my attention, I'm looking at a vehicle with no hood. You said, we ripped that hood off. We picked up six, seven mile an hour. Tell me about that. We we pulled the hood off on the second lap when we done a tire change. Uh, it was, you could see the air catching in it. So we pulled it off, getting a little bit more speed on those high speed roads. Uh, stuff like that, it helped out quite a bit. So uh, we got we to gotta reconfigure our hood to uh, get a little bit more arrow, air going through it so it don't, uh, don't slow us down quite as much in the future. You said you hit 122 miles an hour on a 6100 truck. We, we hit about 120, 121, somewhere right around there, and then all, the, all your lights start coming on. You know, goes into limp mode and stuff like that. So it's, uh, yeah, we, some of those uh, downhills that are hard packed, we, we can hit about 120. That's uh, that's about what it does. And you rode this entire race, you drove it all by yourself. Yeah, drove it, uh, jumped in, started it. Kate McCachron was in with me. Uh, done a fantastic job, keeping me going the right direction. First loop, we caught up to uh, some slow uh, one cars and trophy trucks and it took us a long time to get around them. And uh, everybody probably backed up, uh, backed up to the back of us just because we were held up by those guys. And, once we got around them, we had a little bit of clean air, then we kind of kept catching some one cars and trophy trucks. Once we got all around and we made some pretty good time about the last lap and a half, but 
Yeah. Connor, uh, Connor was uh, he started behind us, but he was ahead of us on time, and uh, he just done a fantastic job. I mean, he just outrun us today. Well, you did a fantastic job as well. Great start to the season. Congratulations. Thank you. I know Angie's. Believe me, I've watched a lot of them leave, and I think in the top ten overall at Vegas Torino. And I mean, it's incredible what how he. Two days of racing. Two wins. Congratulations, Connor McMullen. You did it this time in 6100. Tell me about it. Um, no, today was just a solid day. Um, we had no issues, no flats, no none of that. The team, every time we came in to fuel, the pit crew was fast. On the second lap, tire change was, tire change was fast. Uh, everything was just so consistent today. Um, other than on the third lap, we had some issues with the truck cutting out, but. You know, all we can do is just run our pace, run the truck as hard as we can go. Obviously, the Brent Oil Industries truck, you know, took a beating and, you know, as on top of the box as usual. And, you know, thank you to those guys for putting me in this um, opportunity to be able to do. And we're looking forward to more races and going out and winning some more. Great start to the season. Who would you like to thank? Uh, I'd like to thank, obviously, my mom, my dad, my family, Kevin McMullen Racing, the whole entire Brent Oil crew, Brent Oil Industries for an amazing truck, King Shocks, Mess with Race Wheels. Um, BF Goodrich Tires, just everybody that gets me out here and the crew, Best in the Desert for doing all that they do to get us out here doing what we love to do and uh, just everybody in general. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. And you're doing a great job. Poor Brent. I heard him say he used to beat me in class 10. Now he beat me in 6100, but it looks like you guys will have some yes. tight competition yeah, moving forward. That'll be a good one to watch. Yeah, Brent's going to be the, definitely the one to watch and uh, you know, he's, he's got a good pace behind him. He's a fast driver, so he's going to be one of our biggest competitors this year along with a lot of the other guys that are in this class. Uh, super competitive, super fun. Everybody's right there, so it just makes a good day of racing. Congratulations. Yeah, these guys are going to get a bunch of money. Strong performance to open up the season for Justin Blauer out of California. We're sitting here talking about how you weren't able to make so all the races so last year, but you may punch. run the whole season this year, huh? It's possible, yeah. We have conflict with one race, but we'll uh, try to try to get most of the other ones. Tell me about how you were able to finish so strong today. Today we just ran strong. We just uh, we just tried to stay in the dust. We had we had one issue with the uh, tire going down, so we had a quick tire change at midway, and then just trying to chase the other guys down. But you know, it was, it was fast pace. They were running hard, so. What do you think was your key to success? Oh, just just trying to stay clean, that's for sure. This, this class is so tight. If you have any issues whatsoever, you're, you're about done. So. Well, congratulations. Great way to start the season. Keep an eye on him this year. Nick Carolyn, first in the 6200 category from Tucson, Arizona. Nick, I was asking you, where in the world do you practice? You said, this is the closest training ground to Tucson? Yeah, if we want to do some suspension testing, it's here. Everywhere else is a uh, little, you know, you can do some off-road racing and kind of rally style, but if you want to come and test your shocks and really test the how strong your car is you come to Parker well clearly the seat time here has paid off take me through what's a very successful day for you here today. Um, it was successful we wanted that extra successfulness we wanted to get the, all the 6100 trucks we are, we're always shooting for that overall of the limited cars um, unfortunately we we worked our way through the pack we got up to third on the road within a on the second place's bumper and uh, we spit a belt so uh, car started limping along, lost power steering. Uh, we thought we were close to the pit, so we limped it all the way in. It ended up taking half an hour off our time, and from then it was just enjoy how badass Parker in this car is. Well, congratulations, guys. Great start to the season for Nick and company. The sport's all about overcoming adversity. This team did just that. We're hearing transmission, brake line, tires, Sterling Miller. You guys did it all, but you overcame it. Tell me about it. It was it was a struggle. We took off. We had a heck of a good run started. Uh, we were going down a long straightaway. We were about 137 and just started losing speed. I had it flat on the floor, and we were losing speed. And uh, then we started wrapping it out, so we're... We lost fluid in transmission and torque converter. We stopped, let it cool off enough. We were almost to midway pit. Our crew was there, so we stopped, let it wait for just a minute, cooled off, and uh, we sat there for probably 20 minutes or so. And then we limped it into the midway pit, got it fixed. Uh, lap two, we blew a tire, uh, rear, right rear tire at about 125 miles an hour. It was a little sketchy and tore a brake line off, 
and so got all that plugged and changed and then went to the pit and got it fixed and had a pretty clean third lap that wasn't too bad so anyway it was all right well big congratulations making that trip all the way from texas pay off these guys with a great run a great husband and wife team, Brian and Mary Scheibel. They did a wonderful job here in Parker. Now check this out. Originally from Buffalo, New York, they now live in Texas. How in the world do you find places to practice? How do you do this out in the desert coming from where you are? We, we actually come over here. We met Brenthal a couple years ago and took a ride on a whim. Just took a ride in one of their trucks. My wife was smiling. She was, we're retired, we're doing this. That is how we spend our retirements. We come out, we practice with Chuck. Johnson Valley uh, area, and then um, we just, just you know started last year with, with with the spec trucks, having a ball. It's a cool program, and you guys put a great event on. They're well organized. The course really well marked, phenomenal. So it helps us out, newbies. You know, you guys did a great job. Congratulations! I gotta ask you this too. What's it like the synergy between husband and wife? Some guys don't like to go driving with their wife, you know, right? We've we worked together for 30 years, shared an office, and uh, for us, it's, it's you know it beats marriage counseling. There you go. <laughs> what, what did you do for a full time job? Where you shared an office? We, we were in the in the packaging uh, business. Packaging we, just, yeah, we retired. Fuck so five years. And we go around racing vehicles, race road race cars, and, and off road stuff. Great job, guys. Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks, man. Thank you. Great start to the season for 6100 competitor Kevin Reardon out of Anaheim. Kevin, you got to tell me about your amazing program. You got to be happy with this start. Yeah, we uh, we had a good day, and uh, Steve Restivo, the owner of the truck, uh, he started first, did real well, and didn't didn't have uh, really any issues. I mean, we were down on, uh, I think we're down a cylinder. It's not running right, but other than that, it was a great day. And, and uh, track was awesome, and it was a ton of fun. What's your racing background? Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it kind of runs a gamut, just dirt bikes and, um, AC, we built you know, course, I had a bullet and rode a quad at one long. time. And, and now <laughs> you're here. Yeah. Here and out the buggies, now out trucks. The and you guys are up there in the, the points. Race. Any temptation to run this entire ramp, series? So. No. You just passed, so it's okay. Now, why do you say that? But, well, uh, yeah, no, we would. We, 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 we might. Uh, so what that big sponsor calls the water. It's kind of like you're a yeah, yeah, we're the only sponsors on this. So. All right. So. All right. Well, congratulations, time. guys. Hey, as he said, there's room. There's advertising room. You guys want to jump on board, get a hold of them. A great run in 1500 for Don Hatch out of Orange County. I see on your dash, smooth is fast, that famous cliche. Why do you like it there? My builder put it there. Oh, he did? <laughs> Try okay. to keep us off the lid. Yeah. All right. Hey, well, you were off the lid today. Yeah. Any any adversity you had to overcome out there? No, we just decided to go out and run the skirt and just have a good time. It's amazing. It's such a good time. Great, great, great people. Great. It's awesome. It's so much fun. What was your impression of running the course in reverse? It was a little, I think it was, it was uh, a little bit maybe smoother, a little more rhythm. Kind of could get a little more, but uh, you know, on the last lap, it was brutal. Oh, man. But uh, it, was, it was fun. Well, congratulations. What are you going to do the rest of the season? You're going to run the series? We're going to run the Excellent. Yeah, we'll see that to be a We'll see you there. Good job. Cheers, buddy. Fantastic start to the season for Matt Laughlin. Matt, what do you attribute this to? What were you doing over the off season? Uh, well, we we hadn't raced in a long time. We just got a brand new truck. We took a year and a half off due to life and work related issues due to COVID. But um, you know, we're back. We got a brand new truck. It's it's unbelievable. I got some great support from Collinsworth Sports and my family. Um, you know, they all make it so easy on me. All I got to do is just go drive it. Very cool. I see you have the hotel livery on the side of this. How busy are you running this hotel? It's, it's a We're gonna put it together. job and then some. It was it was actually pretty rough for me to even get out here Tuesday to be able to qualify Wednesday. But um, I got a great team and, you know, everybody works together. And, uh, you know, they're the reason that I can come out here. Great job. Great start to the season. We look forward to seeing you at more races this year with Best of the Desert. Great performance for Kevin Adler. Kevin, we got to get the first thing out of the way. You said your brother's going to be so amazed you finished. So there you go, Greg. You did it. We did it, Greg. Um, after your little pep talk this morning, I uh, held back a little bit. And the main goal was to finish. And we finished the race. Uh, <laughs> truck was phenomenal. Uh, the boys at Morgan Motorsports put it together for us after a little crash at qualifying. Um, it wasn't for Racing 905 and Adler Motorsports and ORW, Dan West, 
freaking okay. killed it today. It was just on point all day. Um, just a whole team effort. I mean, I got a whole group of guys, just 30 people that are all over the course. You guys did an amazing <laughs> job with this course. Max, um, been busy. I raced based on Best of Desert with Eric Hyden. Cool. Cool. Probably when you guys first started. And uh, I do KC, and uh, it's nice to be back. Great job. Great start to the season. Team Adler doing great. Appreciate it. Thank you guys. Are Max Eddie, great start to the season, guys. You got to tell me how you were able to persevere through this very difficult course. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, you know, Corey, Corey started the race, and uh, we ran third overall, third physically, and uh, first or second on corrected time, all the way up until about the last 40 miles of the race. Um, we had a couple little small issues that set us back, so uh, we lost quite a bit of time on those. So. Corey threw me in the driver's suit for the last 40 miles, and two flats later, we're here. Great job. <laughs> How do you guys get hooked up? One one being from California, one being from Colorado. How would you guys get hooked up? Oh, uh, man. Just racing. Just racing. Yeah, just racing. Right, and we come out and support him for the, for the UTVs. He yeah. races UTVs, so. Yeah. Well, do you think that UTV experience really helped you today? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> These things are such a different animal than a side-by-side. Than a -side. You know, you got four-wheel drive, and... It's easier to get up on the, the the humps and go around rocks and just put, point the car where you want to go. These kind of you got to stay in the groove with these, and and they want to go where they want to go. Um, it's it's a little. These are a lot tougher than a side by side. Let me tell you that. Great job, guys. Great start to the season. They were able to battle some serious adversity today, and they really brought it home with an admirable finish. Congratulations. Always oh, good to see the legend, Mr. Kurt LaDuke here. What brings you out this weekend? So, good friends of mine from Connecticut, East Coast guys from where I grew up, wanted to race the Parker 425. His father did, some of their grandfathers did. So these six guys came out. We came to qualifying, blew a motor. They came, I had my spare motor in California. They don't know anything about these trucks. They came back, we changed it, came back last night, started the race and, uh, Made it to the finish line. Big congrats. Top top 10 overall in a, in a trophy truck, and I don't know the exact, but you know, the, everybody, they were, had little issues, and uh, the water, the GPS failed, like whatever, but they made it around, and it just, you know, at my age, to come back out and see that kind of youth and that kind of excitement makes it all worthwhile. And I saw BJ got a good win in, and I'm proud of him. He's been struggling a little bit. We all struggle sometimes, and he came back, and uh, yeah, just a great event. I know the economy's made it tough for Best in the Desert, but you know, they they pushed on, and I know Casey be proud of his boys and everybody that came on board to come out and make it happen, and we'll see what the future brings. But you know, today we're just proud to be here and uh, in Parker, and we'll see what the future is. For but, sure, we're glad to have you here. I know you got one son in monster trucks, one son in short course. You've done so much here. I gotta ask you, what is your assessment right now, the state of the sport, desert racing? Is it growing? Well, I'm excited by all the 6100 trucks. Those are the future trophy truck guys. We know that. And uh, you know, they're expensive and there's a lot of young guys and they charge hard and they're learning those lessons. And uh, I think, you know, there's a lot of racing and out of it, we're gonna end up with a lot better drivers and more teams. So. I like it. And not as many, when I raced, you ran for a championship, right? And so I'm proud of those championships. Here, it's like you pick these events because you're not 100% committed to a, a sponsor. And so pe people pick and choose based upon their, the fun level or where the teams are available. So it, it's just evolving and, and COVID has changed the world and it's changed our sport too. I love it. Finally, what's the best advice you'd give a young racer if they're listening right now? If, you, if everybody says, how do you get involved? Just come. Come as a spectator. Park near a team. Watch them pit. Talk to them. Just be around it. And eventually an opportunity to come to somebody and say, hey, can you go to this race as, and we'll pay your expenses. And then pretty soon that somebody gets hurt or gets sick and they say, hey, put on a fire suit. Get in the race car. So just come. Just be around it. And something will fall into place. Good advice. He's the legend. Kurt LeDuc, thanks for being here. All right, man. We look forward to seeing you much, much more. John Bowers out of Norco, California in the Jerry Hurling truck. You guys told me the last part of the race there was a little little rough. Tested you, didn't it? Yeah, it was uh, a little square edge, a little rough, but the, the truck took it, you know. Uh, 
we uh, we got in the dust through here. He just called, Billy called me right through all the dust, through, didn't miss a lick. Clipped a huge boulder with the front end, caught the drive shaft, took it out, uh, half mile from the end. Man. How long did it take you to get that problem man, fixed? I, I thought eight we, minutes, I I th eight minutes, I that's it. we did record time. How in the world did you get it fixed so quickly? A nine sixteenths and a, or a half seven inch and a seven sixteenths wrench. Wow. That's it. Well, but, you, but we had a spare. So it it always helps to have a spare. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Great start to the season. Thank you. Wish them well. Paul Ziegler had a successful start to the season. Now, Paul, on the podium, I heard you say this was the greatest midlife crisis purchase ever by your brother. Explain that one. Yes, yes. My brother, midlife crisis, he ended up going down to Disneyland and called me up. He goes, hey, I think I'm going to buy a trophy truck. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to say no. A week later, here we are in Parker <laughs> racing it. Very a couple cool. weeks later. But uh, great, great, great effort by the Brenthal guys. They put this truck together and DNA Carpentry, they did a great They've been doing a great job the last couple of years, giving us this opportunity to race a truck, all the guys back at home working. What's your racing background? Your uh, we we grew up racing bikes, and back, back in the day, we rode out Casey's shop, Sportsman Cycle. Okay. Rode Husqvarna's back then, Dave and I did. Raced Moran, all right. which Casey started. Daryl Folks was in my club, and Brian, and we all grew up together. Sure. Kind of fun, and um, Jeff Phillips, we all, we all got along really good. We had a lot of fun days racing dirt bikes back in the day, and now we moved it up a step. You feel like Four that experience wheels. is really crossing over and benefiting you here? Yes, yeah, a lot. The reading and screen part is really good. On the motorcycle, the driving part is really good by the photo. It's kind of like we're driving the boat. I don't know how to explain it. It's one way, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yeah, well, right. You had a ridiculously successful start in the season. Congratulations. Team Ziegler getting it done. Thanks, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this behind-the-scenes look at the Parker 425. For more, go to bitd.com and make sure to subscribe right in the middle. If you like this video, here's another one for you. Off-Road Racing Insider rolls on.